If you're in the hashtag walkaway movement, I want you to see some observations that I made today watching the testimonies on Thursday. Now, I'm in Asia, so it's already Friday morning, but I was just watching some of this live. I watched Dr. Ford's testimony live. Much of it, I reviewed it at length. I'm very tired. So as a guy who was not in the walkaway movement, but has been learning a lot by listening to the walkaway movement, if you're in walkaway, I want you to see what I've been noticing. I was nine years old and glued to the TV and the radio during the Clarence Thomas hearings. I remember Joe Biden and Orrin Hatch vividly from that Senate panel. And I remember Clarence Thomas crying. It seems Democratic senators like to make Republican justice nominees cry. That's not something that Republican senators do to Democratic Supreme Court justice nominees. It's just interesting. Before I get started, I want you to, for my first of two observations, I want you to watch very carefully. Watch this. You ready? Did you see that? That's called a sniffle. Now, we didn't see any of those during Ford's testimony. I, I don't remember them. If, if you caught like one, please show me. Now, with Kavanaugh, there's a lot of them. And he's drinking water. Ford, Dr. Ford, she needed Coca-Cola. She needed caffeine. Now, she was talking in a crying sounding voice and that way and she had facial motions moving but no water coming out of her face she had the face and the voice of someone crying but none of the water and when you're genuinely honestly grieved and sad to a point where your voice and your face are doing that the nose water and the eye water comes with it as it happens with Kavanaugh. You're going to see him sniffle a lot and you're going to see him drink water to put the water back in his body that he's been crying out of his face. She didn't have any of that water that comes with real tears. That was one observation I made. I didn't see any water in her eyes at all. And then we get to Kavanaugh and now I see, I only see water. I also see him sniffling. That really, really stood out to me. Now, second observation. This is her lawyer. This is Deborah Katz, Me Too movement lawyer, who recommended him. Now, th th these are serious activist people. These are not objective people. These are not, this is not, these are, this is not a Republican lawyer recommended by a Republican lawyer backing up a Republican witness against a Republican guy. These are all Democrats and very, very actively Democrat idea type Democrats. Just, okay, think something to know. Watch their body language after he finishes his talk about teaching here and gets to basketball. Now they've done a good job of keeping their lawyer face, but not when basketball comes up. Oh, no, no, no. Watch. I love teaching law, but thanks see, to see what some of you on this side of the committee have yeah. unleashed, I may never be able to teach again. See? Unfazed. For the past seven years, I've coached my taking two notes. daughters basketball taking teams. Notes. Now we watch saw him. many of those girls when they came to watch my hearing him. for a couple of hours. Watch her. You have a letter from the parents of the girls I coached that described my dedication, commitment, and character. I coached because I know that a girl's confidence on the basketball court mm, translates into confidence in other aspects of life. I love coaching more than anything I've ever done in my whole life. But thanks to what some of you on this side of the committee have unleashed, I may never be able to coach again. I've been a judge for 12 years. 
I have a long record of service to America and to the Constitution. All right. Okay, I'm I done. I was astounded to watch them break their composure when that came up.